uh, the record waiting list. He said it's part he or she, I should say, said uh, partly down to the fact that increasing numbers of people are coming forward following the pandemic with 1.8 million referred for treatment just in March alone. And the argument is that there's pent up demand because we're just coming out of a pandemic. Um, that, that, you know, I mean, there, there's no getting away from that, you know, the pandemic has had an impact. But let's not forget, it is, there is a decade of conservative underfunding of the NHS. Um, that, and, and the NHS went into the pandemic with a record waiting list with 100,000 staff shortage and 17,000 fewer beds. So it's not that the Conservatives didn't fix the roof when the sun was shining. They dismantled the roof and removed the floorboards. So yes, the impact, there is a, uh, there's a COVID impact, but there was, there was a problem before when we went into COVID. You can't say that cash isn't going in. The government is spending £36 billion over the next three years on health and social care. That's a lot of money. They are. The government are raised. They are raising taxes um, on working people um, in the middle of a cost of living crisis. So, yet yeah, patients are paying more to get worse service. So they're paying more and they're waiting longer. So they, they, need, they need to get a grip. There is, there is a real problem with staff shortages, with waiting times. Um, and it's, it's not something, it's not just because of the result of COVID. It's something that they, it's, it's what the uh, Tories have been doing uh, over the past 12 years. It's the mismanagement of the Tories, of our NHS for the past 12 years.